Thank you, Madam President. I won't take long today. I just wanted to share uh, my experience hearing one of the stories of an individual who had been held in uh, solitary confinement. Because I think that it's important when we are talking about this issue to remember we're talking about people and we're talking about their lives. We're talking about people like Leilene Polacco and Khalif Browder, Ben Van Zandt and Dante Taylor who have lost their lives. And we're talking about the people who are living every single day, sometimes silently struggling from the mental health challenges that they have from being put away in solitary confinement. This is the morally right thing to do, and I'm so proud of some of my colleagues, the organizers, the survivors, the advocates, and Senate leadership for pushing this forward. The United Nations believes that the actions we take against these folks who are incarcerated in solitary confinement are wrong. And finally, New York, State is, New York State is stepping up to say that we are taking the moral high ground and we will save lives with this bill. And for those reasons, I'm incredibly proud to join my colleagues in voting aye on this bill. Thank you.